And small business owners in the Valley joining together in a letter signing petition to take to Governor Greg Abbott. The aim is to show the need for DAPA programs that allow more rights for undocumented immigrants. Action 4's Imelda Mejia has more. Every morning I wake up and I go to small businesses and I knock on their door and tell them the importance of signing the petition. Cynthia Vargas is the owner of a local insurance shop. She is helping La Unión del Pueblo Entero, a local immigration activist group, to gather signed letters from businesses asking Governor Abbott for the approval of deferred action for parents of Americans, better known as DAPA. They've contributed so much to the success in my business. More than an 80% of my business or my clientele are immigrants, and I feel that it's my responsibility to give them something back of everything that they've given me throughout the years. The letter petition is in response to the lawsuit that Texas is currently spearheading, claiming that the deferred action programs are unconstitutional. The DAPA program would allow undocumented immigrants to obtain a driver's license and work in the U.S. without fear of deportation. All these parents are able to get a permit. They're going to be bringing more money to the economy. They're going to be all these businesses that they can find workers. They're going to be able to find workers, right? So they're really what telling us is like, no, DAPA is going to be good for the economy of Texas. Lupus started asking businesses to sign about a month ago, and they already have over 100 signatures, including one from the Cantu Construction company in FAR. The local group will continue to ask businesses to sign letters until November 20th before they present the letters to Governor Abbott. Lupe and other supporters of DAPA programs are waiting on the response from the Fifth Circuit Court to see if the Texas lawsuit against immigration action will continue to stop DAPA from going into effect. In McAllen, Imelda Mejia, Action 4 News. Advocates for DAPA programs say if the Fifth, Cir Fifth Circuit Court moves the lawsuit along, they are prepared to take their letters all the way to the Supreme Court.